Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and welcome to another voice actor spotlight. Was Beast Wars Cheetor written as the new Bumblebee? Well, no. As you probably know, Beast War was not originally written as a continuation of the Transformers. It became that because the showrunner were paying attention to the online forums and noticed that Optimus Primal's mention of the Great War sparked something with fans, so the showrunner built on that. And brilliantly, I might add. Cheetor was definitely the kid-friendly character. The one who seemed amazed by what was happening as much as we were. He's the kid brother that everyone protects in their own way, and he's eager to show he's able to do anything. And he came to life each week because of Ian James Corlett. This voice acting veteran is one of Canada's most talented artists. He's a voice actor, an animator, a writer, a musician, and more. Let me show you what I dug up on this fantastic man. Born August 29, 1962 in Burnaby, British Columbia, Ian spent his young days as a filmmaker and entered a lot of competitions. That gave him a real interest in the process of filmmaking, storytelling, and animation. He says his path is unique because his voice acting started for his own production, and he realized he was good at it. At the time, Vancouver had no film or animation industries. Ian was already voicing radio and TV commercials, and when the animation boom did happen in BC, he said to himself that it was what he used to do as a kid. He joined in, and his first cartoon was Captain N, the Game Masters, as Dr. Wily, and he kept working ever since. He's listed for 486 roles from 164 titles on BehindTheVoiceActor.com. Let's take a look at some of his classic roles. You heard him on Exo Squad as Enlil, and he worked on a show I really liked called Botsmaster, where he voiced Dr. Hiss. He got involved in the Mega Man franchise as the title character, but also as Rush, Snake Man, and Metal Man. Then he joined the cast of Reboot, where he played Bob for season 3 and 4, also including the Glitch Bob version and 24 other characters. He also did some writing and rewrites for Japanese shows such as Dragon Ball for 13 episodes and the TV special Curse of the Blood Rubies. He's the original voice of Goku on Dragon Ball Z, as well as Master Roshi and Kui. He reprised Goku and Roshi for the TV special The Tree of Might, which he also helped rewrite. But he got a bad deal when doing Dragon Ball Z, since after a while he realized he wasn't being paid for vocalization, which usually refers to grunts and other little noises a character makes. But for the showrunners, vocalization also included the screaming, which really is a third of the line Goku says. Therefore, he wasn't being paid for a lot of his work and he stopped doing it. Next on his list is the legendary Beast Wars, where on top of being everyone's favorite cat... Oh yeah... <laughs> He lent his voice to Sentinel. Warning, intruder alert. Sentinel online, acquiring targets. And c -Clam. Megatron is brilliant, but a rogue. He causes too much trouble. He of course reprised Cheetor for the video game Beast Wars Transmetal, as well as taken on Quick Strike, and he played Cheetor once more for Beast Machines. I'll draw the drones away from Jetstorm and Tankor. Still thirsty, Night Scream? Ian portrayed 18 characters on Fat Dog Mendoza, including Onion Boy, then voiced 16 characters on Dragon's Tales, and 10 on Yvonne of the Yukon, including Willy and King Louie. He kept very busy in the 2000s, working on shows like Baby Looney Tune as Baby Taz, or playing 12 characters on The Cram Twins. And then in 2005, all of his work went full circle when it led Ian to writing and creating his own series, Being Ian, writing 60 episodes and voicing 42 characters. The series focused on 12 years old Ian Kelly, who aspires to become a filmmaker, the show is based on Ian's early life, even being set in Burnaby. On top of that project, he kept working on other shows like Johnny Tess as the dad, and you could have heard him on Care Bear Adventures in Carolot as Funshine Bear, a role he reprised for the movies Care Bear Oopsie Does It and Care Bears to the Rescue. He got involved in Lego Ninja Go Master of Spinjitzu portraying Master Chan and 12 other characters, reprising Master Chan for the movie Day of the Departed and then worked on Sabrina's Secret of a Teenage Witch voicing 11 characters including Salem. He also came back to the Transformers franchise for Transformers Robots in Disguise portraying Shadowraker. I have come for the things you took from me. Then Ian worked on a show that is dear to his art, Dinosaur Train. His kids, Philip Corlett and Claire Corlett, were cast as the lead characters and he got cast afterwards doing 20 characters including Mr. Conductor. He liked it because he got to work with his kids and it was a really great time for him. Recently, he did a lot of work on the Super Monster franchise as Igor, a role he played 11 times in various shows and movies. And his latest roles were Pillar on the TV show Cyberpunk Edge Runners and Bayan Rosen Orn on the video game Tactics Order Reborn. And Ian is set to take on the role of Sly Cooper on a movie of the same name. 
And on top of all that I listed is the author of two children's book, E is for Ethics and E is for Environment. To wrap this up, I'm glad I decided to cover Ian. Listening to all the TFCon's panel was really interesting. He's a fun guy who loves to engage with the fans, and I think he's a fantastic performer and also a great writer. And in his free time, he enjoys following professional motorsport and racing his own cars. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of Ian James Corlett's career. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care!